Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Movie Hangout, and this is the Stranger Things Season 4, Episode 3, The Monster and the Superhero Review. Before I break it all down, please subscribe to my channel, comment, and like this video. Okay, so in this episode, Dr. Samuel Owens gets an unexpected visit from Lieutenant Colonel Sullivan. The Colonel is angry about what is happening in Hawkins and is convinced that not only is Eleven alive and causing the destruction, but that Dr. Owens knows where she is hiding. After a failed attempt to pry her whereabouts out of the doctor, the Colonel leaves in disgust. Flash on over to Eleven in California, and she's not only in trouble for hitting the mean girl in the face for the roller skate, she's also arrested. I mean, crazy, who knew roller skates could get anyone in that much trouble? Mike vows to get her out of jail no matter what. He's trying to be a hero, can't blame him. Now back in Hawkins, the body of Fred the reporter is found, and it's clear that he died the exact same way that the cheerleader did. Nancy's completely freaked out by it and calls on her friends to search for the fabled psychopath Victor Creel, who is feared to somehow be behind the supernatural events. The kids find an old newspaper article that chronicles the tragedy of Victor Creel and his family. To everyone's amazement, the article reveals that Creel also saw supernatural events and blames the murder of his family on a demon haunting Hawkins. As if that isn't bad enough, Max Mayfield is now seeing visions of the demon and her time to figure out how to stop the evil entity is quickly running out. Then we are back in Russia and Hopper sets up his big escape with a prison guard that he bribed. Joyce and Murray get the $40,000 and take it to Alaska to meet with their contact. Lastly, Eleven is tracked down by Dr. Samuel Owens, and he begs her to come back to Hawkins to help defeat the evil presence. She tells him that her powers are gone, but the good doctor reveals that he has devised a way for her to get them back. She accepts, and bang, we got an amazing episode. I really enjoyed this episode because it built up the suspense and it revealed more details about the town, town of Hawkins and its troubled past. I'm giving this episode four out of five roller skates to the face. I couldn't resist. But anyways, thanks for watching my review. If you want to see my reviews for each episode of Stranger Things Season 4, please subscribe to my channel. Later.